Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. The meteor shower that fizzled and twinkle twinkle little star. Hey there, stargazers! I'm James Albury from the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium at Santa Fe College in Gainesville, Florida, and I'll be your guide to the sky this month on Stargazer. Usually this first week of August, I would be telling you to get ready for the Perseid meteor shower, which will peak this year on Friday night, August 12th, through Saturday morning, the 13th. But this meteor shower will not be very good this year. The meteors will be as plentiful as they usually are, but the full moon will brighten the sky so much this year that you won't get to see very many of them. This is not a guarantee of nothing, but it is the way to bet. The moon will be full at 2.57 p.m. Saturday afternoon Eastern Time, which means that by the time the moon changes its phase and gets out of the sky in about four to five days, the Perseid meteor shower will be over for this year. So next Friday night, you may see some Perseids if you get away from city lights, but not as many as you'd see if the moon wasn't in the way. The Perseid meteor shower is one of the most easily observed meteor showers because it occurs during the warm, balmy nights of August. The second best meteor shower is in early December. Brr. Meteor showers happen when the Earth runs into the stream of debris left in the path of a comet as it orbits the Sun. In this case, the comet is named Comet Swift-Tuttle, after two astronomers, Lewis Swift and Horace Tuttle, who are credited with discovering it. Since the Earth's orbit is pretty regular and repeats much the same way each year, we come back to the same spot in space at the same time every year. This is why the Perseid meteor shower repeats at the same time each year. It's not that the comet comes back each year at this time. The most recent visit by Comet Swift-Tuttle was in 1992, and we're not expecting it again for 135 years. But next year, August 12, 2012, the Perseid meteor shower will happen again because debris from Comet Swift-Tuttle has been spread all along its orbital path. And next year, the Perseid meteor shower should be better since next August 12th, the moon will be a waning crescent and will not rise until after midnight. Now for something we can see next week. Get out after sunset any night next week. Look west and you'll see several bright points of light, some stars and one non-star. Let's start with the brightest light that you're likely to see first. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> About halfway up from the horizon, you'll spot a very bright star, Arcturus. Arcturus is not a run-of-the-mill star. It is the third brightest star we can see from Earth, and it's over 200 times brighter and about 26 times the diameter of our Sun. An easy way to remember the name of Arcturus is to look for the Big Dipper in the northwest and extend the arc of its handle, and you'll come to the star Arcturus. Arc to Arcturus, remember? Below Arcturus, closer to the horizon, you'll spot a pair of somewhat dimmer lights. The light to the left is the star Spica, and to its right is the ringed planet Saturn. Spica is a hot blue multiple star whose light has taken over 260 years to get here, while the light you see from Saturn only needs about 85 minutes to make the trip from Saturn, because Spica is nearly 2 million times farther away. This is a great opportunity to see how stars and planets differ in how they look in the sky. Stars will twinkle while planets won't. Stars look like dimensionless points of light since they're so far away, while planets actually look bigger because they're so much closer. The twinkling of a star is really caused by movement in the layers of air that the light from the star has to pass through on its way to your eye. Planets don't usually twinkle because their image is not disrupted as much by this movement of the air. You don't hear anybody singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Planet. So take a look at Spica and see if you can see it flash and change color and then compare Spica to Saturn off to its right. Then look at Arcturus higher in the sky and see if it's twinkling. So remember that the Perseid meteor shower will probably fizzle this year, but Spica, Saturn, and Arcturus will dazzle in the early evening. Get outside my friends and keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Skywatcher is also available for $19.95.